your what is your go to for RPS? I don't. You don't. You just ask for a battlefield, and then I if just, they don't, I just say you can strike first, or I ban two stages. But if I do, my go to is probably like paper or something. I literally, I actually don't have a go to. I do it as, as soon as I, as soon as it they, we say shoot, I just open my hand, and the first thing that comes to mind, is what I do. <laughs> that way, I know that nobody's trying to read into it super hard. Oh. Because the only reason why we play rock paper scissors is because we do these random item sets, right? And what we do is, is if you get Zelda or Sheik, you don't do the like, oh, uh, like if you get one side of the stage, you have to pick Zelda, one side of the stage, you have to pick Sheik. You have to rock, paper, scissors the person that got Zelda and whoever wins gets to either use Zelda or Sheik. Uh, so that's how it works. Wait, hold on, I'm confused. When does that, why are you, who's picking Zelda? When does that happen? No, 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 so this doesn't happen like where somebody picks Zelda. It's like we're doing a random set, right? So like you have to random your character and you random the stage, but no oh, legal stages see, are on I see, I see. and no items are on. So it's like you have to rock, paper, scissors as a person. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's what we do instead because it's funnier because it's like, it's if funnier to lose, decide. Yeah. yeah. If you lose, yeah, you, you just lose, can't you get use Zelda. Chic, and you know, most people don't like using Zelda that much. It's not very fun. It's slow. Yeah. <coughs> she has a very satisfying aerial toolkit, though. Right. Tatsu would. Oh my god. He's kind of running a train of splendid. Yeah. I mean, he's like obviously the better player, but like you know, you never know. Splendid could play really good. Splendid yeah. has some wins actually, Loki. Mm -hmm. And the Sheik Marth matchup is usually favorable. Yeah. Tato doesn't like it. He can get a Gemp right here and it'd be even. Ah, uh, no, he did though. He backed up. He just like. Yeah, he should have pressed his uh, advantage a little more. Uh, okay. He needs to edge guard. Ooh, yeah. that's the advantage. No. Like you gotta back just air. back air there, dude. Like where he had Tato was perfect for like the back air blood chart. Yeah. Okay. He actually sealed the stock pretty early. He only took like 10, 15% of collateral. Ooh, I like the ledge dash. Uh, oh, ooh. Splendid Sheik is really clean. Uh -huh. so, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like... he, he plays a lot of net play, so I'm assuming his Sheik is very practiced and yeah. honed. It's not like a wily Sheik like Bungo. Yeah, or Hamlin, like how it's like kind of like Hamlin's. Hamlin's not like fast, he's just Wild West, you know? Exactly. He just, he just does what he does. Yeah. But Tottenham responds back with a, a juicy stack of his own, dude. Uh, he's got a slide off the ice. Ooh, I like that, actually. Yeah. A lot of people really overlook just going straight to ledge. Yeah. It's, yeah. like, better to go to ledge than, like, possibly get intercepted and die. You know who's really good about doing that all the time is Bungo. Bungo will just go straight to the ledge if you, like, combo him off stage. Like, uh -huh. He'll just go immediately into the ledge, and it, like, always catches me off guard. Really good at that. I respect him a lot as a player, actually. Yeah. Bungo is... Oh, this is probably it. Yeah. <laughs> Bungo is a lot like, uh, he's like, honestly, most of our new school players, uh, they like put in a lot of work. Like you, Bungo, I don't know about Tadawa. Tadawa does. Tadawa does. Uh, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, newer players out here that are pretty good and, and they like go to a lot of events and like, Put their best for, uh, put forth their best effort. Yeah, I don't even go to a lot of events though. For yeah, not anymore. Lot. Like I, yeah, I did the first my first year of playing. Now I just like will enter Monday Night Melee a lot and then like study my bots and like other bots. That's pretty much it. You also do a lot of solo like practice, right? Yeah, I do a lot of solo practice because like I feel like a good way to eliminate tournament nerves is to be confident with whatever you're gonna do technically. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because then you know, okay, why am I nervous? I have complete control of my character, uh -huh. you know what I mean? And yeah, it's like second nature at this point. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I don't really get nervous anymore. I did the first tournament I came back after not entering in three months, but obvious reasons why I got nervous. I played the tournament. It's corridor. Oh, I thought he was going to send him off stage with the back here. I think it was kind of hard to place it back here to do that. Really? Yeah, it seemed like it seemed like Sheik had to do kind of a weird reverse yeah. in order to get that. Splendid didn't bite by jumping into the down tilt. Though. Yeah, it was a smooth wall jump. Yeah. Hamlin does that a lot, that wall jump. Though. Yeah, he lives under there. Yeah, dude. Hamlin lives at the ledge. 
Neutral B is interesting. Ledge. Goes all right. I like it. I think he didn't want to grab ledge because Wispy is such a, a nuisance, you know? Yeah. Uh, oh, what? Is not a recovery move. Okay, for a second I thought that he was actually going to be able to make it back. No. Then, like, <laughs> into the Puts you to special to fall. Special fall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a flub. Splendid uh, didn't look happy with that. Yeah. Because he could have made it back and everything. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Splendid had a mean look on his face after that up smash. He's there pulling a BTS. Oh, see? Oh, the juicy. drop down bear, dude. Drop down bear, dude. It's so good. It covers a lot. It covers so much. And it's so big. <laughs> Cheeks back air is yeah, ridiculously big. Yeah, it is a big. massive. It lasts a long time. It honestly just never trades with anything. <laughs> Dude, if I'm being honest, Splendid just isn't, like, a lot of it is he's not punishing quite as hard as Tato is. Like, Tato is definitely doing more damage. He's got him in that edge guard situation. See? Well, there you go. Dude. I think I talked about that the first game, and how, like, he should do the bear, but now he's getting on it. He's realizing. Oh, he's trying to gimp him, dude. He's like, I'm working these edge guards super yeah. well. You have a stock to play with. Absolutely yeah. go for some gimps. Yeah. Nice, dude, the sledge dashes are clean. Ooh, that's streamlined. Oh, jeez. Tunnel is panicking. Oh, God, he's, yeah, he's panicking. Yeah, he's very yeah. panicked. He just wants the stock to be over. Tunnel looks kind of tired, dude. Look at his eye. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, you saw that set with Mojo. That was depressing. Yeah, that was very depressing. I'd be depressed, too. That's probably the stack. Nope. Uh, oh, Phantom Nair. Splendid has done an excellent job of holding onto the stack. Oh my, whatever. He got just 200% of mileage on it though, you know? Like, yeah. Tadawa's already basically at kill percent. Oh, barely oh, missed the needle. Oh, no, this could be huge. He's got his jump, okay. Not as bad as it could have been, for sure. Just don't get, oh boy, he has no jump. Okay. Wispy's doing all sorts what of stuff. What is he doing? And the percents are tied up. Oh! And now Splendid is on the panic side. That's, That's probably it. He has his jump. Dude, he threw that he so hard. He definitely, he crumbled under the pressure, dude. That was a double swing. Tato was winning. Splendid brought it back. Took a stock. And then lost from ahead. He got like one or two clean hits on uh, Tato after he was at 80 plus percent. So like none of his hits were really meaning. Oh, God. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. Up smash. Questionable. Might have been like an up tilt attempt or something. Oh boy. Take him for a ride, Splendid. No, that is not a ride. That is not a ride you want to be on. Oh! Did he spot dodge? Is that what happened? Oh no. Nice. Maybe he was just still in lag from a B. I like that Tato was kind of like. I don't know, dude. He, he seems a lot more focused. He seems more composed. Because he was losing his composure so hard. Oh, yeah. Splendid's got the... Uh, oh, no. That's a huge... Man, that's such a big swing. It would have been even, and now, uh, now Splendid has like a whole... hundred Like, 0% stock that he has to answer for, you know? Yeah. And it sucks because, like, against Martha's Sheik right now, you want to be able to crash against those bears and stuff, yeah. and you don't want to take too much damage. Ooh, that was sick! Could you imagine if he grabbed instead? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, Splendid's putting in some work. Wow. Ooh, uh -oh, this bear? Be... That was kind of cool, dude. A nice double down tilt because he died. No, too late. 
at that point, you just gotta like go for hold grab. center. Or yeah. Either hold, go for grab if you think he's gonna shield or hold center. Oof. This is this is gotta be rough for Splendid. Yeah, because uh, they get super far in the bracket and then just kind of get bopped by Tatawa. He has a uh, he has some work. He has his work cut out for him. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, he didn't double jump. I think it was an intermediate double jump. I didn't look for the rings, but oh, this could be it. Dude. Okay. If Splitter could clean it up right now. Yeah, oh my gosh, he's out of this crowd. Everything's gonna send a knockdown, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's hard to come back at 100% with Sheik. Okay. Nice. Sweet spot slip. Tatua shield grabs a lot. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> up. Oh. oh! Jab, jab. He has no jump. And up. Alright, well, as we all know, Tatua is an F smash Marth. Any chance he gets to F smash, he'll take it. He loves that move. That's it. Yeah. Alright, so. We got Grands M. I'm gonna go to the restroom real quick before Grand starts.